Hey everybody, Dan here and today I'm bringing you another quick news update and today's episode is going to be all about the new mini set that we're getting very very soon called Dragon Vault. So Dragon Vault, as I just mentioned, is a mini set so it's only going to include 21 cards, 20 of those being regular cards and the last one being a secret rare Curum that I'll get to in a second. So today I'm just going to quickly go over all the cards well, the most interesting ones for the competitive environment and also go over some information about it too, so let's get straight to it. So as I just mentioned, there will be 21 cards in the set, 20 of those will be regular cards and the 21st will be a secret rare Curum. I will go over the details about the Curum in a second, but first let's go over what's going to be in the set. So there's going to be 20 cards, 17 of those are going to be Pokemon and 3 of them are going to be trainer cards. The 17 Pokemon are obviously all dragons and there's only a couple of them that are going to see any kind of, well possibly going to see any kind of competitive play but the 3 trainers are definitely going to see it. We get Experience Share as a trainer, as a holo, Super Rod as a holo as well and the last one is what everyone's wanting to see from this set. Fast Ticket. So everyone's favourite card, Fast Ticket, is coming to the format very, very soon. For those of you that don't know, Fast Ticket, when you have it in your opening hand, if you do have it in your opening hand, you get to automatically go first and skip the coin flip. If both of the players playing have Fast Ticket in their opening hand, you just play Rock, Paper, Scissors, rather than flipping a coin, which is pretty interesting too. So Fast Ticket is going to give you quite an advantage in the game, but don't get too sweetened up by that fact. It is going to be very hard to have it in your first opening hand you are going to need to run four to have any significant advantage to going first a majority of the time. I would expect you only see it in donk kind of decks like maybe with Tornadus Aerodactyl if anyone plays that. It might, might, it might make that playable, you never know, but after the first turn you're going to have three of them still in your deck if you play four which are going to be completely useless. You can get rid of them with stuff like Ultra Ball and Juniper but it's not going to be very consistent. It might be consistent at getting you, well it's not even going to be that consistent at getting you first. You might get it like 60% of the time maybe. Yeah, it's a very questionable card which some people are very excited to see in the format and some people aren't excited to see at all but it would be very interesting to see how it does in the competitive game. So the other two cards, as I mentioned, were an Experience Share and Super Rod, both of which are going to be Hollow, which is just very cool to play out your decks. For those of you that like Reverse Hollows and Hollows, those cards are for you. So now onto the Pokemon, and there's only really two notable ones in here. The first one isn't as competitive, but the second one we've already seen and is going to be competitive, definitely. The first one is Salamence, it's a Stage 2 Dragon type, and it's got a very interesting ability called Lofty Wind. So Lofty Wind allows you to use it once per turn while Salamence is anywhere on the field and what it makes your opponent do is discard their hand until they have four in their hand. So your opponent does get to choose the cards but still, going from a big hand to just a four card hand every single turn until Salamence leaves the field is pretty devastating and the attack isn't that good so it's going to have to be paired with something else to really get a devastating kind of lock on and I'm sure that people will start to try it out. I have seen a list from Japan that uses both Salamence and I can't remember what the attacker was but it also used Hooligans as well. So what you do is you use Lofty Wind and then use Hooligans if you get ahead. Your opponent goes down to just one card and I'm sure you can imagine how devastating that can be. As I said, finding an attacker for the deck is going to be tricky. It doesn't have a good attack itself, it is a stage 2 and is weak to Dragon so it will go down fairly easily if the metagame stays as it is right now. But otherwise, a very interesting card. Now the next card is what everyone's pretty much what the set's about and it's Secret Rare Rayquaza in normal rare version. So in this set, Rayquaza actually appears twice. It's going to be a blister promo and it's going to be in the packs as well. So now Secret Rare Rayquaza is now going to be just Rayquaza. So you're going to be able to get this very readily available now. If you have your Rayquazas, your Secret Rare Rayquazas, then they're not going to be worth much anymore. They're still going to be worth the amount of Secret Rare, but not the crazy amount like $100 plus that they were before. So that is really good for the game. People who want to play Rayquaza Eels readily have that available now because some people just couldn't have it in their decks because they couldn't afford it, couldn't pull it, or just, yeah, blatantly couldn't afford it. But now you'll be able to get in a blister promo. You don't even need to open packs, but get on those quick because I'm sure they'll sell out very, very quickly. So I did just mention that Rayquaza will be ready for competitive play, which is true, but the rest of the set is going to take a hit. This, the release date for this set is before regionals and states so everyone thought we were going to get fast ticket and all the other cards before regionals so it meant that they'll be legal for play but we've just had a recent announcement that the set is not actually going to be legal for play. 
However, the Rayquazas will be legal as they are already set legal. As with the tins, the tins technically weren't supposed to be out before some of the battle roads took place, but you can still use Dark Rays, Rayquazas and Mewtwo's because they're already a set legal card. So you could use those. So Rayquaza, there's no problem about that. Experience share and Super Rod, the same goes for that. But for stuff like Fast Ticket, which is pretty much the main thing everyone's talking about, it's not going to be available for regionals or states as of now. So do keep checking up on that. There's a thread on the Poke Gym, which I'll post a link in the description below about. And yeah, go check that out for more news on whether you're going to be able to play Fast Ticket or not at regionals. So the last card I'm going to talk about is Secret Rare Curum, which is the 21st card in the set out of 20, which makes it a Secret Rare, obviously. It's Dragon Type with 130 HP. It's only a normal basic, so you only get one prize for knocking it out, and its first attack is pretty much the most interesting one. It's three colorless energy, and you do 60 damage. So to a Dragon Meat Pokemon, that's 120, which is pretty decent. You can imagine Knight Spearing a Hydreigon, for example, then dropping this guy, moving the energy to it, using Hydreigon in a Dark Ride Hydreigon deck, and then taking the KO, with only giving up one prize if they decide to take the return KO, which is pretty decent. However, the next attack is Water, Psychic, Colorless, Colors for 90, and then 10 to all of your opponent's bench. For the Water and the Psychic, don't come from the same blend energy, so it's not going to be, well, it's going to be very awkward to get set up very frequently. However, the first attack is very interesting. It's another Dragon type we can take advantage of. There's only a basic rather than an EX, so it could be see competitive play. Maybe, but 60 isn't really amazing, and 120 on a Dragon is good, but still not enough to one hit KO much in the format that's of significance. So that's pretty much it about Dragon Vault. The set is going to be out on October the 5th, and there's a few interesting cards in there, mainly Fast Ticket, and that's Salamence for those of you that are thinking about Rogue stuff already. So thanks for watching this news update. If you did like it, please leave a like. Leave what you think about the new set in the comment section below, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Look forward to new set, and I will see you all next time.